Hello everyone. We discussed in our last class about hypermetropia. Now we are going to discuss one more eye defect is called presbyopia. It is called presbyopia. Presbyopia. Okay. It is an a presbyopia is a vision defect gradually accommodation power of eye lens is decreases okay that means flexibility of ciliary muscle is decreased by age by increasing our age our ciliary muscles flexibility is decreases due to decreasing the flexibility of ciliary muscles then eye is unable to changes its focal length it was unable to changes its focal length because of losing the fix flexibility of ciliary muscle good it right due to that then near point of eye may increase it that's why we discussed in our first class of human eye and colorful world the persons aged persons the least distance of distinct vision may increases up to one meter or above one meter also due to this reason the flexibility of uh, focal length uh, is uh, then flexibility of uh, ciliary muscle is decreases that means uh, the accommodation power of eye lens may decreases this is causes by age in some cases and some of the persons can unable to see the far objects and as well as closer objects right far objects and closer objects this defect then who are suffering with both who are losing both the uh, defect of a myopia and hypermen who are suffering with both myopia problem and hypermetropia problem those can be those defect by a press by that defect is called press myopia and that press myopia can be cured by using bifocal lens what we will use bifocal lens bifocal lens means it's consist of convex lens and as well as concave lens both okay how oh, see it then right spots and uh, the lower part is consist of convex lens right upper part is consist of concave lens got it then this uh, bifocal lenses can be useful to see the closer objects and as well as far objects got it the press by of your is a defect who loses the flexibility of i'll ciliary muscle got it it can be cured by using a bifocal lens then this is lower part of the lens convex lens upper part is concave lens got it right and here in this case where important point is which lens can be used to correct the press myopia means you have to write then bifocal lens okay and uh, have you ever observed the prescription which is given by eye specialist okay and he will mention uh, then 2d lens or minus 3d lens what is d what is minus 3d what is 2d right to know this we have to know one more important topic that is called power of lens 
that is called power of lens power of lens what is power of lens the reciprocal of focal length is called as power of lens got it very simple reciprocal the reciprocal of focal length is called power of lens or otherwise we will say uh, the degree of converging power or diverging power of a lens is called as power of lens or simply we can say that the power of lens means the reciprocal of focal length is called power of lens and the power of lens can be designated with the capital p capital p the mathematical principle to find the power of lens is the reciprocal of focal length that means 1 by f the very simple principle p equal to 1 by f is the principle to find the power of a lens this is in meters in meters okay or in centimeters p equal to 100 by f this is in centimeters p equal to 1 by f in meters p equal 100 by f in centimeters okay and uh, the si unit of a power of lens si unit of power of lens is diopter SI unit of power of lens is diopter it can be designated with the capital D power of lens unit is diopter it can be designated with the capital P right the power of lens means the reciprocal of focal length is called power of lens okay and here you have noticed that power of lens is inversely proportional to the focal length power of lens is inversely proportional to the focal length that means if focal length is decreases right if focal length is decreases power of lens can be increased if focal length is increased power of lens is decreased what it if focal length is increased then power of lens is decreased if focal length is decreased power of lens is increased and you may get uh, in examinations of uh, problems on power of lens for two more question or in a uh, polytechnic also then you will ask question example one. if a focal length of two given lenses is five centimeters and f equal to and uh, f1 equal to 5 centimeters f2 equal to 50 centimeters okay read it the focal length of a first lens is 5 centimeters second lens is 50 centimeters then what is the power which lens has high power what it question is uh, then two lenses are given with a different focal lengths with the fn equal to 5 centimeters and 50 centimeters then which lens have high power how can we calculate then simple from the principle p1 equal to then from the principle p equal to 1 by f centimeters is given now i am doing this in centimeters that means 100 by f right the principle is 100 by f i will write neatly then no problem then b equal to 100 by f in centimeters got it then this is the principle 5 centimeter that means p1 equal to 100 by f1 z then p1 equal to 100 by f1 equal to 5 centimeters 5 5 1 ja 5 20 ja therefore p1 equal to 20 centimeters p1 equal to 20 centimeters right then p2 equal to second lens power also we have to find out now 
then 100 by 50 51 ja 52 ja then p2 equal to sorry power no not centimeters power unit sorry power units we got it p1 equals 20 diopters and here p2 equal to 2 diopters see which one which lens has high power then first lens have high power and you notice that in the first case the focal length is less then power is more in second case then focal length is more then power is less got it you will get the questions may like this got it and here one more <coughs> and uh, in a very important question already cut here in a polytechnic examination this kind of question a doctor is prescribed then said to use 2d lens a doctor is prescribed to use plus 2d lens its power plus 2d means it power then power is given as 2d okay here what is the focal length of a given lens and what type of lens that we are going to find simple from the principle p equal to 2d then i am doing in centimeters then 100 by f in centimeters okay right then power equal to 2 is given 2 equal to 100 by f i want to find the f then it becomes f equal to 100 by 2 100 by 2 then 2 ones are 250 is right therefore focal length equal to 50 plus then here we get plus and 50 centimeters then we got the 50 centimeters then which lens plus in we have a uh, two types of lens we use it to correct the eye lens one is convex one is concave we have already discussed uh, the sign convention of given lenses the convex lens a focal length will be taken as positive concave lens we will take as negative that means the which lens we use it convex lens right here i is then convex lens and here one more thing right what type of uh, defect easy to find in uh, uh, which defect we use uh, the convex lens that is hypermetropia see by only the 2d in a question he has given only simple then 2d with this how many factors we find out it then we find out at the focal length and we came to know the lens and we came to know the defect also right like that you get one more example then has given <coughs> as minus 5d doctor is prescribed to use minus 5d power of lens then what is the focal length same here i am going to use p equal to 100 by f right in centimeters only here 100 no then p equal to 100 by 5 5 ones are 5 twenties are right then wait 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 sorry sorry nana here he has given here he has given power no then 5 equal to minus 5 equal to 100 by f we are finding focal length already power is given got it right then f equal to 100 by minus 5 100 by minus 5 5 1 ja 5 20 ja therefore f equal to minus 20 centimeters according to sign convention in which lens focal length becomes a negative what in concave lens then here we used by concave lens and what is the defect by concave lens is used to correct the myopia myopia this is the way of doing the problems right this uh, power of lens is an important topic 
most probably you will get uh, questions uh, in polytechnic examinations and some other competitive examinations okay in this class we discussed about the press biopia and the press biopia and it can be corrected by using a bifocal lens and we have discussed about the power of lens power of lens means the reciprocal of focus and the important one the unit of power is diopters it designated with capital d 